crazy, man. TV trips, man. Are you guys like me? You watch a lot of TV. Are you, are you tired of seeing all these pharmaceutical drug commercials on TV? <laughs> yeah, telling you to check your colon in the middle of the Laker game and stuff. <laughs> the halftime show is sponsored by Viagra. You know, you can't have a Viagra commercial at halftime. There's no way you can focus on interviews and have an erection at the same time, okay? That's what people, have you noticed how like they're naming the drugs? And it might be me, but they're like using the black community to name some of these pharmaceutical drugs. You guys ever notice? Like the erectile dysfunction drug, Levitra. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a black woman on Sloss in the Normandy, don't it? <laughs> be yelling at a Levitra! Levitra, girl, come on, girl, hook me up. Where you ready, baby? You know, pretty soon, like, if it gets out of control, like, we'll have a whole neighborhood of babies named after drugs. You imagine a phone call? Hello? Yeah, this is Levitra. Girl, put Cialis on the phone, please. <laughs> Cialis, baby, I'm running late. Me and Boniva just missed our bus. <laughs> and wake up Sonata, Ambien, and Lunesta. Them bitches been sleeping all goddamn day. <laughs> and tell Propecia she owe me $20 for that hair weave, okay? Drug babies, man. It's crazy, man. TV's crazy. Can, can we keep our football and other athletes out of trouble? Like another guy's getting arrested now for doing something at a strip club? It just seems like every time you turn around, another person's getting arrested or getting in trouble with the law. They should have a new section in the sports page just for the criminal athlete, yo. <laughs> you got scores, transactions, and court cases pending, you know? <laughs> so I can keep track. And I don't care anything about the players in free agency. I want to know who's free on bail, you know? <laughs>